high low method you will see that how useful it is for decision making very very important it has three steps step one is to choose high and low activity what does that mean that means if you have uh, activity in january which was 10000 in february it was 8000 and in march it was it was 12000 you would choose one activity which is high and one activity which is low you can use the data from there to find out variable cost per unit by using this formula change in cost divided by change in level of activity once you have variable cost per unit you can find out fixed cost by substitution and the formula is fixed cost per unit equals total cost minus variable cost per unit times number of units these three steps will be used the information which we need which we need and that is variable cost and fixed cost so we have an organization has following cost at different activity levels we have 4000 6000 and 8000 units the total cost is 105 150 and 190000 there's a 20% step increase in fixed cost for each increase in activity level of 5000 so 6000 and 8000 are going to have the same fixed cost 4000 would have 20% less okay so if 6000 have a fixed cost of 120% 4000 would have a cost of 100% the requirement is find the total cost at 4500 units and we have a solution here calculate the variable cost per unit using two activity levels for which the fixed cost is same for example both 6000 and 8000 levels are within the 5000 to 10000 range variable cost per unit can be calculated by taking the difference in cost divided by the difference in activity which is 40,000 divided by uh, 2,000 and the total cost variable cost per unit is $20 total fixed cost above 5,000 units is the the equation down there we are using this one now uh, we can find out that the fixed cost above 5,000 is 30,000 and the total fixed cost below 5000 is 100% not 120% so this gives us 25000 now we know this and this information we can find out the total cost at any given level of activity so the total cost to produce 4500 units would be 25k plus 4.5k times 20 equals 115k so this is a, an exercise on high low method and we will do some and the rest will be your homework. You can see that we have a table in front of us which has uh, different types of cost, supervision, direct materials, storage and handling. And then we have two different activity levels at 2000 units and 5000 units. What we need to decide is we need to decide what is the cost behavior. Uh, if it's fixed, how much is fixed? And if it's variable, how much is variable per unit? okay so i have solved the first three one but i will explain that how did i do that and then then you can actually uh try it on your own so first of all let's look at our supervision cost so at 2000 units we pay uh, 20000 pound for supervision and at 5000 units we pay 20000 same same amount because it, it's not changing we call it fixed how much is fixed? 20,000. Is there any variable in there? No variable there. So nothing appears in the third column. Yeah. That was easy. And there are quite a few here, four or five in this list, which are just fixed. So that will be very easy for you guys. Now, direct material. Direct material, 10, 100,000 we paid for 2,000 units and 250 for 5,000. Is it fixed? It's not fixed, it's variable. Is it actually variable or semi-variable? If it's variable, the cost per unit should be the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a calculation now. And the calculation would be, so direct material.
is for 20,000 pound I paid for 2,000 units and then I paid 100,000 yeah? because we're dealing with direct material and then we paid 250,000 pounds for 5,000 units. If this cost is variable, the cost per unit will be the same. Yeah. So if you do the maths, we get 50 and 50. So it's exactly the same. This tells us that direct material is variable cost. Yeah. So that's why we have variable written here and we have 50 per unit here. There's no fix in this bit. So we left that empty. We will leave that. So this was a slightly more challenging, but still very easy. Yeah. Uh, and now we are going to look at storing and handling, which is the real thing in this exercise. Yeah. So let's look at storing and handling. We pay 10,000 pounds for 2,000 units and we pay 17,500 pounds for 5,000 units. Is it fixed? It's not fixed. It's variable. We can call it variable because it's changing, but is it actually variable or semi-variable? We need to do the test. The test is cost per unit. So storage and handling and uh, what we have is 10,000 pounds for 2,000 units and 17,000 pounds for 5,000 units. If you do the maths, we get 5 pounds here per unit and we get 350 per unit here. Yeah. So the cost per unit is not same. That means the cost is semi-variable. Once you have established the cost is semi-variable, then you need to apply the HILO method. What we need, step one, we need two costs. One is high and one is low. And step two would give us variable cost per unit. So let's do that. All right, variable cost per unit. This we need change in cost, so the higher highest cost minus lowest cost divided by change in activity, which is highest production minus lowest production, and the difference is seven thousand five hundred divided by three thousand. We get two pound and fifty per unit so that's why if you look at the table you have semi variable and then you have 250 per unit and we need the fix now yeah so let's do that step three now now step three says that fixed cost equals i should write the whole thing fixed cost equals total cost minus variable cost per unit which you have just done 250 times number of units for this equation you need a set of data set of data means 2000 units and 10000 cost or 5000 units and 17500 cost 
one set of data. Any set of data, either 2K units or either 5K unit, doesn't matter. And we will actually check that. So first I'm going to check with 2000 units. So for 2000 units, my fixed cost equals total cost. We know total cost. What is our total cost at 2000 units? Ten thousand total cost, yeah. Minus variable cost per unit is two fifty, which we just did, and the number of units are two thousand because we choose two thousand units, yeah. Two thousand units. This gives us that is five thousand. So our fixed cost is. 5,000. If this cost is fixed, it should be 5K for 5,000 units as well, because that's why we call it fixed. So can you, on your piece of paper, use the data for 5,000 units and work out the fixed cost like this, using that data?